Defining the block insertion base point. Once we have the block definition dialog box opened up by using the create block or the block command and we put in our name and our description, we need to define where our base point is. So here's my, my door right here. And on this door, where am I going to pick it? Well, not in the center. That's kind of nowhere lands. So what we want to do is we're going to insert this door by this endpoint. That's where the hinge is going to be. So the wall is going to come along here and hit here. And that's right where we're going to put the hinge, right on the corner of the door. So we're going to say, well, OK. I want to uh, I want to pick that point. I could key in the values x, y, and z, but you never know that. So I want to pick that point. So now I come over and says, okay, how do I get that point? Well, I'm going to do a shift right click. I'm going to go to endpoint. I'm going to snap right onto the end of that endpoint. Now it's picked up that data to the 14 little points past the decimal point and on the x and the y. So it's all set to go at this point. And uh, we've now just set up our block insertion base point.